Hey, Ed. Yes. I have a real quick question. So we did talk about in one of the e-blasts unlocking Dolby Vision. Yeah. Are you going to get to that? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I'm just reminding well, first, you. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to do the edit unlocking of the Dolby Vision because it usually takes about three hours. But here, let me show you how we do it. So we'll select the inputs. I'll go ahead and select all inputs. And I'm going to select the resolution. I'll select my audio codec. How many channels of audio do I want to send to my displays and or end devices? So I'll do uh, eight channels of Dolby and DTS. And I will select HDR and hit set. I think we're done. So we just- So that took like 15 seconds and you just unlocked Dolby Vision for all of our, so any our viewers out there. Any sort of high content or high value content was just unlocked uh, just by clicking, uh, just going through three tabs and clicking set edit. And now all these sources are outputting in their highest possible resolution. How do we verify that? Really simple. Down here, we could see all the sources, what the sources are doing. This is a live feedback. I have a, a unit on a bench here that I have some displays and uh, sources plugged in. So all of my sources are now forced to output this particular resolution, 2160p60, eight channels of audio and HDR content. So depending on your TV, if your TV could support HDR10, it's going to get that. If it could support a Dolby Vision, uh, then it could get that. With that said, um, really simple, three tabs, you're done with the edit management.